In this video, I am going to talk about a little known story related to the M156 V8 engine that powered many AMG models from 2007 to 2015. The M156 shares a common lineage with Porsche's M80 V10 from the Carrera GT supercar. Both engines were developed under the direction of Bernd Ramler, who worked at Mercedes and Porsche. So I will briefly discuss Ramler's career and then compare the M80 V10 in the Carrera GT to the M156 V8 from AMG. These two engines share many design commonalities as racing derived engines for road cars. Bernd Ramler began his career in the 1980s at Mercedes-Benz in engine development, later moving to DTM Motorsport development by the end of the decade. In the 1990s, Bernd Ramler was the head of AMG Racing Development and worked on projects like the 190E 2.516 Evolution 2 and the dominant 1994 C-Class DTM. In 1998, Ramler left AMG and moved to lead Porsche's racing engine development. The 9R3 Le Mans prototype racing car was being developed with a 5.5 liter V10 engine that was inspired by Porsche's earlier Formula One V10 prototype that was intended for the Aeros Formula One team. Eventually, the 9R3 project was cancelled due to an agreement with the Volkswagen Group. With a V10 engine already developed, Ramler and his team at Porsche worked on moving the V10 to a road car. For the production road car, Porsche took the prototype racing engine and increased its displacement to 5.7 liters, as well as detuned and refined the engine. The V10 in the Carrera GT was codenamed the M80, and it produces 605 horsepower and revs up to 8400 RPM. After the Carrera GT was developed, Ramler was approached in 2004 by Mercedes with an offer of leading development of AMG's new V8 engine. Ramler became responsible for the design of the M156, which was the first engine designed by AMG from the ground up. Just as with the Carrera GT's V10, Ramler says that the M156 was developed with the same focus on the character and sound of the engine. The M156 produces up to 518 horsepower and revs up to 7200 RPM. This would in fact be the last new engine that Ramler developed before starting his own business specializing in the preservation of classic racing cars. Comparing the M80 to the M156 shows some glaring similarities that demonstrate their common philosophy. Both engines have a strong closed-deck aluminum engine block. The design of how the cam gears are driven by intermediate spur gears on the timing chain is seen in both engines. This design reduces vibration and noise compared to having a longer timing chain that wraps around the cam gears, which you usually see in overhead cam engines. The adjusters fitted to the front of the camshafts utilize a similar design in both engines. A solenoid controls the oil pressure in the vein cells of the cam adjuster. The M80 V10 has intake cam adjusters, while the M156 has both intake and exhaust cam adjusters to optimize its power band. The four camshafts on each of these engines operate four valves per cylinder with bucket tabbets. Ramler stated in an interview that in a naturally aspirated engine, you need to close the intake valves quickly. Thus, both of these engines utilize double springs for their intake valves. Both engines also came filled from the factory with the exact same 0W40 motor oil. That's quite a few similarities indeed, showing Ramler's influence on both of these engines. Of course, the Carrera GT differs in a few ways, such as having stronger titanium connecting rods, 
and of course, it outputs its power through a manual gearbox. The Carrera GT also has solid lifters that have to be adjusted every 30,000 miles, while the M156 has hydraulic lifters which self-adjust. Since these two engines share many design aspects, they indeed have shared similar mechanical issues over the years. One of the main issues that both of these engines suffer from is that the camshafts can wear in some cases and require replacement. The YouTube channel Tom's Garage has a very informative video about owning and servicing a Carrera GT. He shows how the cam lobes on his Carrera GT showed signs of wear and required replacement. The M156 engine suffers from the identical issue for every model year that was made. Although with the M156 this is usually seen at higher mileages such as 150,000 kilometers, 100,000 miles plus, and with not enough oil changes done. They both have their flaws but no engine is perfect. To sum it up, these are two of the greatest naturally aspirated engines of all time. It's great to know that a guy like Bernd Ramler with so many years of motorsport experience, led the development of these two great engines. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more AMG content.